Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a quick and easy card for you today. And these stamps are the cutest things. They are from Stampendous. It's a brand new set that they're just releasing this week on their website, if you want to go check it out. Um, they have a cat set. They actually have a dog set, too, which is so flippin' cute, and they all work together. Love that basket. Um, and they have dies that go with it if you want to save some time. But, of course, you don't need the dies to do this card. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is stamp out our cat face, paws, bow, basket, and basket and I've already done that so that's gonna save us a little bit of time and I've stamped them with uh, brown memento ink and I'm gonna use some alcohol markers to color them and since I'm gonna cut these out I don't have to be too particular with my coloring so I'm gonna go in first with my uh, dark brown here this is E37 in Copic um, you don't have to use Copics you can use whatever you want you can use watercolors it doesn't matter it just um, be sloppy with it. We're going to cut it out, so don't even worry about the outside, and it's not going to make any difference. So I really, really love that. So then what I'm going to blend, especially if I'm doing it quickly, I'll go to the chisel edge. And look, since we're working quickly, it's very easy to blend, and I don't even have to worry about the uh, staying within any lines because we're going to die cut it or cut it out by hand. It absolutely doesn't matter. If you're good at cutting it out by hand, it doesn't matter one bit. Now I want to go back in with that dark color just to add a little bit more dimension. And since I do want to be careful, I'm going to go, I could even go over that, that fabric area there because I'm going to uh, die cut that and add a little bit of dark to the bottom, maybe a little bit more around the edges. And then I think I'm just going to very gently, gingerly go in and add just a little bit of definition between the little woven um, strips of the basket. It's going to blend out pretty well because I'm using Nina 80 pound classic crest. The um, classic crest is a lot better to blend than like the Georgia Pacific cardstock or even the Nina that's now available at Target. I don't know why, it's just like a smoother, harder um, surface I think. Alright, so I'm going to set this aside. Oh, we're going to do our bow here. This is super easy. I'm going to use three shades of pink. Uh, my darkest one, I believe, is this Prisma color. Let me just test it here. Yeah, that's my darkest one. So that's going to go in the uh, folds of the ribbon. I like to go darkest to lightest, especially if I am working on Nina or some cardstock that blends really well. Then I'm just going to go in, let's see, my I think this is the one that's a little bit darker. I mean, a little bit lighter, rather, sorry. A little bit of that on the, on the edges. And then I'm just going to blend it with my lightest shade, and I'm going to go in with a chisel edge. Look at that. Easy as can be. And I want to go on the outside in case my cutting isn't so hot. I won't have a white outline. And then if I want more dimension, because it does blend it out so well, I can go back in with my darker color and just go in and add a little bit more depth where I want it. And I think I'm going to have that, I think, is actually going to be the bottom. So I want to get a little bit more dark down there. But this, like I said, this card is very easy to blend. I also find that the uh, Gina K and the Paper Tray Ink are also really uh, blendable cards. If you're, you know, if you don't, you can't find the uh, the Nina anywhere. And I did accidentally get a little bit of that darker in the middle of that. All right, get some nice rich color there. I'm happy with that. And then um, before I die cut it. I'm going to just trim these apart because I found that um, sometimes with the smaller dies, and somebody had mentioned that before, sometimes they'll skip a little bit on my magnetic platform. And um, if you cut it, if you cut your pieces apart that you're going to die cut, it just makes it cut a little easier. Now for the face and the paws, this is actually very easy. Um, let me just, well, I can do that all together. I picked a few different colors, and uh, I'm going to start with this kind of darker brown. I think that's a color. Yep, that's a color I was using. I'm going to start with this and use it around the stripey areas of this little tiger cat tabby cat, I don't know what you call it and maybe a little bit on the fur there go in with this shade, go around the edges of the face and over the uh, stripes a little bit too just kind of bring that shading out a little bit but again going way outside the lines because I know that I want um, I want to have, in case I don't, I don't cut it, I don't line it up perfectly on my die cut machine, which is, you know, quite frankly, 
happens with me. <laughs> it happens with everybody, I'm sure. Um, I just want to make sure that it is going to look good. So go right along and go outside the lines a little bit. And I've got this prettier kind of orangey or pinker color for the nose in the inner ear part. And then this really light beigey color to kind of blend everything together. I know you probably think I've lost my mind. What is she doing? She's just like crazy with her coloring there. Don't worry about that yellow in the eyeballs because I'm going to add some of that color to the eyeballs anyway. So I want to make sure I have a nice berth, wide berth around the edges. And I'm going to go back in with some of this along the stripes. And I feel like I need a little bit more of that yellow in the muzzle. I just keep adding colors. Actually, I want some of that yellow in the eyes too, because I'm going to use some chartreuse in there. And I want a little bit more of that darker color in my stripes. Oh, so cute. Honestly, I was putting this card together and I'm like, oh, it's awfully pretty simple. I don't know if I like that. And as soon as I put the wobbly head on, I was like, oh my word, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So yeah, I, I really think I could find a lot of ways to use this. And my daughter's Girl Scout troop is doing their bronze award at the Humane Society, not the Humane Society, they're doing it um, at a local uh, animal shelter. Not Well, they're going to be doing part of it at the Humane Society and part at a local um, vet. And uh, I thought this would be a really cool fundraising project if they wanted to make some of these to sell. And Stampendous is a really awesome angel policy, which means that you can sell your stuff that you make. And I know a lot of you guys do that for charity and also just to, you know, make some extra money. So it's always good to know that. I'm just, uh, I'm being really, uh, just working in any of those colors I've already used. You can see I'm not really worrying about much here. I want to add a little bit more of the dark on the edges and add a little bit of that brown between the paws, between the toes, just to give it a little definition. I feel like I'm mumbling. I'm sorry. I haven't, this is the first time I've recorded today. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little out of practice. And again, I'm going to trim these apart and then I'm just going to go over the die cutter machine and cut these out, but you can cut them out by hand. If you do cut them by hand, kind of angle them under like that and you'll get a, a much uh, cleaner cut. Now for the paws, I want to cut these together like that and one of the dies, one of the uh, metal dies kept moving over because I had the magnetic platform and just by snipping them apart and running them in separately, it went through a lot better. But I can actually line all these up on my magnetic platform and cut them all at once. And I will cut the little, this little piece is a separate die and I'll cut that out of a pattern paper. So I'll be right back after I do that. All right, I got my pieces all cut out and I'm going to ink the edges of some papers and glue those down to my card base. And I just made a, uh, just a half sheet, you know, five and a half by four and a quarter card. I am using a little aqua colored ink on the edge of this. This is the Lawn Fawn ink. And actually, um, I picked that up at Hallmark Scrapbook. I'll put a link below to all the stuff that I used so you can find these Stampenda stamps and all the other goodies that I've used in this card. I'm going to put a little honeycomb paper down there at the bottom and I'm also going to ink the edges on that just to give it a little something because this is a pretty simple card so sometimes you just need a little uh, little extra interest there. And again with the adhesive and I just was pretty much picking stuff up from my scrap bin which is really nice. I like to be able to uh, kind of use stuff up and make a cute card and here we've got this now here you can see I had my little die cutting off a little bit but since I colored right up to the edge it didn't make that much of a difference I'm just going to take that brown marker and hit that edge right there because um like I said my cutting was off you're probably not going to have that problem if you cut by hand but um but it doesn't hurt and it takes you less time which means you can get more stuff done so i'm just going to stick that down there on my card and then i'm going to stick this i think i want to ink the edge of that which is my brown stamping ink i guess so we'll make it look like it might be stamped of course i you know smeared it all over the place and so now it just looks like it's a dirty basket oh well <laughs> we can't all be perfect can't we i'm just going to put that down right on top there and then I think I'll do this little bow kind of sticking in there a little bit. I'm going to use some wet glue for that though. Let's just use a little bit of my 
Mod Podge there. Tuck that right in there. And then I'm going to use some little pop poppy dots here for my paws. And I'm like, I got one eye on the clock because I have to run and get my girls from softball practice. So I'm just like, okay, oh yeah, I got time, I got time. I'm only, only got to run down the road 30 seconds or so. I'm going to put one paw there. And I'm going to put the other paw right here. Oh my gosh, it's already so stinking cute, isn't it? Okay, so for this, I'm actually going to use a product called an Action Wobble Spring. Now this is really neat, but you can make a very similar thing yourself just by... Um, you know, using hot glue and a coil and like, you know, coiling some wire. But if you don't want to go through that trouble, this is really, um, this is really nice. And it's also nice and flat so you can mail it. And I don't think it's going to require extra postage because it's not really bulky. But what I do is, um, to make sure that I can't see the spring, I'll, um, put my, my item down and I will just kind of center that up and make so I can make sure that it's not going to show. And it tells you what side, like this top stick image here. I don't know if you can see that, but it tells you right there. So if you get confused when you're using these, um, you can check that out. And I believe you can get these at the Stampendous, uh, on the Stampendous website as well. All right, so I just want to make sure that's where I want it. All right, and then um, I could put a cute little sentiment. Oh, isn't that just adorable? I love it. I'm going to put a cute sentiment on the inside. They have a sheet of stamps that goes with the cats. Um, and you can see there's lots of really cute ones here. And I'll put a link to that too. I think I'm going to put, um, have a perfect birthday because I always need happy birthday cards. I don't know about you, but I always tend to use those up and, and need more. And, uh, you know, you forget and you have to run out. You know, you're on the way to, to meet somebody for their birthday. And you're like, oh, shoot, I forgot to make a card. I'm going to put that right there in my rock block. I am going to stamp that. I'm going to ink that up with my memento. I do like my rocking rock blocks and mega mounts. I, I like having the rocking because my surface isn't perfect. It's an old it's an old cutting mat. It's not great. So having that just helps me get a good impression. There we go. And you can see how well it stamps. And there you have it. How to make a wobbly head. Cute, cute kitten card and there's lots of different options you can do with these stamp sets this is just the first time i played with mine and i wanted to share my excitement with you thank you so much for watching if you like this video guess what i got hundreds more so watch more videos uh please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber i'd love to have you and until next time as always happy crafting